Welcome back to Ebor Malaysia for our continuing coverage of the Malaysian Open. I'm Jim Van Horn, along with Anders Thunstrom. We're getting ready for the men's final between a great crowd here in this facility. We're looking forward as well to a great final between this man, Kong Ling Hui of China, his opponent this afternoon, Jean-Michel Save of Belgium. Who do you see as the favorite in this final, Anders? Well, I think there is a 50-50 match here because both of them are, have shown some good form recently. And you will see a match between the fighters, Jean-Michel Serre, who would like to attack everything with foreign, and Kong Ling Hu, who is more like a steady type, who can do everything. He is very solid, good service, good receive. And you will see, notice also that he can play with both backhand and forehands. First point goes to uh, Jean-Michel Save. As you said, he's very aggressive with the forehand, and he has set the pace early. He's a very aggressive player, especially over the table. Everything which is not short enough, he will attack immediately. And, and that's his strength. Uh, to a quick two-love lead. There was exactly what I was talking about. A little bit too high, and he is there immediately. Three-love. The Belgian off to a quick start over his opponent, Kong Minghui of China. I think it will be crucial for Jean-Michel Serve here to, to really be tight in his own service so he can build from that on and, and be more relaxed when he's returning uh, Kong's service. we got a 3-2 lead, so we will see, see here what happened with when Kong is service. Ling Hui now serving for the first time. And he's tied the match up this game, yeah, first game of this men's final, three all. A little change of pace for Jean-Michel Save. Yeah, and he was a little bit lucky there because it was an easy mistake by Kong. The table was op open. Four all. Even like I said that uh, Kong is, is very all round skilled. He, his foreign topspin is his weapon. He, he will try to make as much point as possible with his foreign topspin. And, and that's the, the winning shot from, from Kong. 6 4 now. Kong Ling Hui doing uh, effective work with his serve. Yeah, and I think that will be the case during this match. Uh, Kong is very strong in service. Doesn't look like the service is uh, something special, but he, he gets the point he wants. Oh, that's great. Terrific point. 7 4. Kong in front. First game of the men's final from the Malaysian Open. Just a, a referee called a stop in play just as Save was getting ready to serve the ball. Yeah, I really don't know what the referee was calling. It, I think that he heard the uh, the phone, somebody's phone in the background going yeah, off. Maybe so. That's the, the new uh, modern <laughs> world. The cellular phones ringing all over. Let's hope he didn't miss the appointment. Oh, what a point for <laughs> Save. Yeah, and that was a great point. First the backhand topspin cross, and then he's... Uh, Making the point with a four and tossing. Good play by Seth. Six, seven. seven six, Kong leading. And you can already see that the, the level of the table tennis is on a very very high level. There's not many easy mistakes and both players need to do quality shots to, to make the point. Eight six Kong. Kong can't believe that point went uh, the Belgians' way. Oh, and it's that's a little bit of uh, the secret of table tennis regarding the spin. When it touches the net, it's a lot of spin on the ball, and, and he misjudges that completely. 9-7, Kong leading by two. First game, best of three, men's final. Oh, 9-8. Back and uh, block, as we call it, straight down the line, no chance for Kong. Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> very little time wasted between points. Yeah, I was just going to mention that. They're playing a very quick tempo. Ten, and it's nine. almost like uh, they hurry. 10-9. 
Kong in front. Ten all. That must have just caught the side of the table. Yeah, that has to be an edge point, yeah. And I thought for for a short time that it, he missed it completely, but it was edge. And Jean-Michel just pointing, it's an edge point. A little dispute going on as to whether or not uh, that was uh, Jean-Michel Sev's point. Oh, Kong just blows it by him. Yeah, and it's great table tennis you're watching now because both of them playing very aggressively, and that is the trademark of Kong Ling Hu when he can, when he gets his topspin against his foreign side, he is able to play topspin against that, and that is brilliant. It's maybe the best in the world on that. 13-9 for Kong. Now they did reverse that point earlier. They did. So it must have touched the the side of the table rather than the edge. Good sportsmanship on Save's part to admit that. Uh, that the, the, the ball did miss the table. Now it's 14-9. Kong is playing very steady now. You saw the receivers were very, very short, and, and he was opening up the table completely. Very aggressive play from Jean-Michel Save of Belgium. Very good rally, and both players is giving their absolute maximum in the rally, and Sev finished with pushing Kong down the foreign side. 15-10. It looks like it was a little bit easy mistake from Jean-Michel Sev there. I don't think he can afford too many of these if he wants to stay in touch with Kong. Sixteen ten. There you see, so once again the Kong strength. When he's getting attack on his foreign side, he's immediately able to to return that to, to own advantage. Oi. Seventeen ten. Kong starting to take control of this first game. One of the strength with Kong Ling Hu is also that you can you can notice he's very concentrated all the time and he never gives back. He's never giving the opponent any easy mistakes. So they have to make a lot of points themselves, and that is it's very tiring for the opponents. Seven, 18 10. 18 10. Jean Michel Seven misjudged the, the length of the ball. Oh, what a return. Just amazing the reflex action that these men possess to stay in the point. Yeah. Table tennis is maybe the, the quickest ball game in the world. And uh, that means that the reflex has to be there. Otherwise, you're out in the game. 20 to 10 now. Eleven twenty. Yeah, I think uh, Jean-Michel Sev is realizing that this uh, set is gone. And, and there will. it is. Yeah. So 21 to 11, Kong Ling Hui of China wins the first game. And our coverage of the Malaysian Open continues on NBC Europe. Stay with us. This is getting good. The Malaysian Open, the men's final on NBC Europe. You've heard of private boxes and corporate boxes in North America. Well, they have private Chesterfields at Ipoh, Malaysia for the men's final. That's, that's a great way to watch a table tennis championship. Kong Ling Hui of China leading one game to zero over Jean-Michel Save of Belgium. Best three of five men's final. Second game just about set to get underway. I think Save knows what he's in for now, Anders. Yeah, I think he realized that uh, this second set is very, very crucial for him because if he's down 2-0 against Kong Ling Hui, I think the... It's a quite steep hill up to the top to, to trying to catch him there. So he has to be really on the spot there from the, the beginning. And he is. Not cool. Started off the second set the same way he started the first. 
winning the first two points. Next, not two. One, two. I think he realized there he had his chance on that service as well, but made a mistake. Two, two. Oh. Even if I don't have the statistics from the first set, I think uh, it was quite obvious that Kong was uh, almost winning every single service game he had in the set. And uh, if he can Side. really change that trend, he, he will get into this match, Jean-Michel. Well, both of these players are coming in with uh, very positive attitudes, uh, having a tremendous amount of success on the Pro Tour this year. They had, yeah, and recently uh, Kong Ling Hu won the US Open and uh, Jean-Michel Sev have won the English Open before, so I think uh, these two players have, have really gained a lot of confidence during the, the past couple of months. 3-4, Three. Three, Kong, Kong in front now. I think that's a key shot for Jean-Michel Sev. He can't play with forehand all the time, so he needs his backhand to work. And that was a mistake, even if he tried the, the straight backhand topspin. And not much of anything is working for Jean-Michel Sev right now. The backhand and the forehand seems to have deserted him. Yeah, and here you can see Kong Ling Hu's very strength. His receive is very solid, so he, he doesn't give that much of a chances or easy balls for Jean-Michel to attack. So he has to make uh, real quality table tennis all the time to make the points. Kong leading by two, 6-4 in this second set. Seven, four. Jean-Michel a little bit unlucky. I think the intention was the correct one, but he just missed it with an inch. Just not getting the breaks right now. No, and uh, Kong is solid as a rock. He, he doesn't do any mistakes at the moment. So there was a mistake by herself, a little bit too long. So Jean-Michel Sev shows his strength. He's very aggressive over the table. Makes the points immediately. 9-5. Nine. Nine he does not want to allow Kong to get too far ahead. It's amazing how quick they're playing in between points once again. The, no. the match is almost halfway now. It's Kong leading 9-6. Jean-Michel save now to serve. This is the second set of the men's final of the Malaysia Open. 6-10. Jean-Michel needs some momentum now. He has to, to get a few quick points, so he's... Um, getting close on Kong, otherwise Kong will get too much confidence and can be relaxed in this game. So that point was very crucial. I think he needs uh, the, the remaining three in his service game as well. Seven, eleven. Four point spread now, Kong in front. Seven, eleven. Oh, what a change of pace for Kong. And that is definitely, yeah, Jean-Michel <laughs> making a, a sign that he needs the luck, not Kong. I think he's right. Kong uh, is in control now. So Jean-Michel Sam needs every single little luck he can ask for. And he got a bit of it there. Oh. Yeah, great back and top spin. 12-8, Kong now to serve. No change of direction, maybe a wrong guess by Sav. Oh, it's a beauty from Kong. It's straight, and, and that's very, very effective in table tennis. Playing the straight balls and playing balls into the middle, into the stomach, is, is very, very effective, and maybe one remark from Jean-Michel Sev game is maybe he's playing too much on the cross court. He should try to play more straight and maybe try to get Kong in, in inside the stomach as well. He's starting to get a little frustrated now. 
Yeah, I think he needs to to be concentrated to really get uh, get close to to Kong. 14-10. Four points. Uh, not a large margin to make up, but against this player, it could be too much. 10-15. Now comes a key service game for Jean-Michel Serv if he wants to stay in this set. He needs at least 4-1 is my guess. See what happens. Ten sixteen. Kong Ling Hui winning the first set in command in the second so far. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's tough to stop. It's tough to stop and it looks so easy, but it's so difficult to do. It's unbelievable difficult to do that top spin over the table from a top spin. Looks so easy when Kong is executing his foreign topspin. 18 <laughs> 10, Kong in command. I think Jean Michel realized how, how good Kong is playing at the moment, so he can't do anything else but smile. 11 18. Eighteen twelve, Kong. Eighteen twelve, Kong now with an opportunity to serve out the second set. Yeah, it looks like Kong has wrapped this set, but um, you never know. Table tennis is to twenty-one, and it's never finished before you get that twenty-first point. Nineteen twelve. He needed that point desperately. I think it's very, very tough now to to get the second set for Charles Michel. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, that's a great reflex by Jean Michel Sev, who, who gets this foreign top pin down the, the foreign line, and he actually requests two points for that to return. Well, the pressure's off him now. He knows that he's in such a hole that all he can do is uh, play relaxed, and that's exactly what he's doing. Very knowledgeable fans in Ypor appreciating his performance. 1914. In 15 now, so if he can grab the next point, then he's in the picture again. Very important point. No, no, wasn't meant to be. 2015, and now Kong Ling Hui has a chance to uh, close out the match. So it's very imperative. It is absolutely imperative for Jean Michel Save to uh, hang on to his serve. Has to win every point. No, there is. And he was going on the offensive, but uh, it wasn't enough as Kong Ling Hui now leads two sets to love on Jean-Michel Save of Belgium. We'll take a break and come back with more from the Malaysian Open men's final on NBC Europe. You're watching NBC, where the stars come out at night. Tomorrow on NASA. To the men's final of the Malaysian Open from Ipor now serving. This is Jean-Michel Save of Belgium down two sets to love to Kong Ling Hui of China. Yeah, and obviously he needs all, all the remaining sets to, to clinch the title. So for I think for Jean-Michel Save there's no choice. He has to go for it and, and really trying to he even have to take some risk, I, I would guess. One all. This is the sixth stop on the uh, pro tour in Malaysia the final will be held in uh, December in Hong Kong forty thousand dollars on the line this week that's right and uh, I think that's quite okay we will try to make it so every tournament will at least have one hundred thousand US dollars but the finals this year in Hong Kong will actually have a purse of two hundred twenty thousand US dollars so 
That's quite okay. So if you've got a 14-stop tour, you can make a very good living if you're a top player. Yeah, that's right. I think um, if they play steady on the tour, they can, like you're saying, make a quite good living. Even if these top players uh, combining playing on the ITF Pro Tour with uh, some commitment of uh, clubs and things like that. But uh, yeah, you're correct. Jean-Michel Seva, Belgium, enjoying this uh, third set of this best of five final against uh, Kong Ming Hui as the early lead. Actually, have taken the lead in all three sets now. So yes, he has. Uh, I don't know if it's a good sign or not that he's taking the lead here, but let's hope that he can uh, change some momentum in the game and, and come back in into to the match. You mentioned the final in Hong Kong coming up in December. Not all the players qualify for the uh, for the tour final. No, that's right. The best uh, 16 in each category is going to the finals, and we're playing the finals with a straight knockout. So uh, that is going to be. Quite intensive matches, I would guess. Six four. Six, four. Now, Jean Michel Save of Belgium has the opportunity to serve to get back into this third and possibly final set. He has to win to keep it going. He has to win every remaining set to take claim the title. Oh, what great spin on that ball! By yes. Kong. And Kong is playing very, very good table tennis at the moment. He is very solid. He is, he is stable in, in, in his backhand side. And once Jean Michel is trying his forehand side, he immediately gets a response from Kong. So it looks tough at the moment for Jean Michel Sev to, to get something out of this match. And once again, Kong is playing unbelievable table tennis. He seems to be totally focused. His facial expressions, there you see, that's the way he has looked throughout this match. He concentrates on the ball, and that's all he's doing. Yeah, you're correct, Jim. And he is a very focused player when he's playing. That's one of his strengths as well he's very very concentrated and he he's, he's able to keep the concentration up Six, yeah and now he's trying to do something different John Michel Seff and that's correct he, he must do something different in terms of tactics and how to place the ball on the table well it's a sign of a good player if you can uh, change your pace and your tactics in the middle of a, a difficult situation yeah, and he got two straight points there. And, uh, let's see uh, if, if that will change the scenario for the match. Kong now to serve, trailing 8-7 to Sev. This is the men's final of the Malaysian Open. Oh, another solid point for Jean-Michel Sev as his bride looks on. He was married this summer. Yeah, that's correct. Oh. Not much you can do about that. No, and that is a brilliant uh, piece of table tennis with both players playing some uh, unbelievable shots. Nine all. Nine all. Here you can see Kong is back again with two points, which is a uh, little bit too easy to, to claim from Seb, two easy mistakes. And suddenly it's nine all again. Ten. And a couple of bad mistakes for Jean-Michel Sev is uh, given the lead back to Kong. Oh, that's a beauty. Just a flick of the wrist and we're tied at 10. That's right. That's what we call a flick or a flip in table tennis. When you are able to, to almost make a smash over the table. 10 all. Sev Difficult. to serve. Block. It is, and a and, uh, little remark is that uh, Kong gets it exactly on the, on the bat. If uh, Jean-Michel is able to play it in the middle or down the, the line, I think he will make a point there, but it's on the, on the racket. See if he can come into this uh, set a bit more now, if he can take uh, two or three points here to get some momentum and get some leading and put some pressure on, on Kong. Oh, what a great point. Yeah, we're seeing some, some good table tennis this here. This is outstanding, Andres. This is very entertaining. 
looks like the crowds you own, uh, like it as well. 8,000 US dollars going to the winner today. This third set is coming down to the wire. One more flip. And uh, that's uh, one of the trademarks from Jean Michel Sam. Like I said, he's very aggressive over the table. And uh, slightest mistake from the opponent, and he's there immediately. Kong taking advantage of that setup. Ball sat up nicely for him, and he buried it 13 all. The key for uh, Jean-Michel Seve now is to have a very solid receives, to really not giving anything away for, for Kong. Nice play by Kong. Was, the receive was okay. Not good enough. 14 all. Jean-Michel taking a little bit of a chance on his backhand, but I think he's correct. He has to take chances. He has to go for the point. So I think there was nothing wrong with that. 14-16 now, a crucial service game coming up for Jean-Michel Sev. He's down by two to Kong Ling Hui and trailing two sets to love in this men's final of the Malaysian Open. Kong has uh, put uh, tremendous pressure on Jean-Michel Sev to do something now. See if he can deliver. That's the story. Eighteen fourteen calm. It looks very solid. It looks very solid. There is Almost nowhere to play the ball for Xiaomi Selsev at the moment. 14, 19. He's trying to be aggressive. Yeah, he, he certainly do, but uh, it's like I'm saying, he, Kong Ling Hu doesn't give him a, any opportunity to, to really go for the big points. And now he's in real trouble. He need the next one as well. It's interesting the interaction that uh, Sev allows himself to get into with the fans, whereas Kong is totally focused on the match. Just not quick enough. It's amazing how quick he is in his hand there at Kong Ling Hu. He got two very, very good top spin against his foreign side. He's still able to respond. And he has the match points now. And there it is. Quite a finish for Kong Ling Hui of China in three straight sets over Jean-Michel Sav of Belgium. Kong Ling Hui of China taking home the $8,000 first prize, a match that he dominated from start to finish in a very well-played match. Congratulations to Kong Ling Hui and all the other winners here at the Malaysian Open. Be sure to join us for our next telecast from the Japanese Open. For Anders Thunstrom, I'm Jim Van Horn. For NBC Europe, so long for now.